Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Shoto Showdown, the weekly news show that breaks down all the Shoto, Soto, and Yudo news that came out this week. And then after that, we hop on over to the Candy Toy Corner, where I check out one of the collectibles in my collection and just show them off. Uh, anyways, let's get started with the news. Alright, so it looks like we're going to be having another slow news week, because we've only got one bit of news. Um, uh, on March 1st, 2018, we got our uh, first official looks at uh, Bear TV form, uh, and this figure is going to be exclusive to Super Televicun, uh, more on that in a bit, but this looks pretty good. Uh, obviously, uh, the bear is mostly a repaint of Panda from Rocket Panda, but it looks like the TV half is going to be completely new. Um, this was made uh, in joint production with uh, the uh, Shokugan Televikun uh, side, and um, the problem is this isn't a regular uh, magazine pack-in. Um, because on CD Japan, you can get any like sort of standard release of Televikun, and you can pre-order them and all that stuff. Uh, same with some other sites that I'm not quite familiar with, but uh, from what I can tell, uh, this is a Super Televikun release, and the problem with that is um, there's only a limited amount of these made, uh, and it's, it's by chance that you have the ability to get um, a Super Televikun instead of your regular Televikun. It's it's not like an upgrade I think you can make yourself. It just like lottery chance. Uh, so this month if if you're in Japan and you're subscribed to Televikun and um, uh, you find this in your mail, good for you. Uh, I don't think any of my viewers do that. So the, <laughs> that's going to be a problem for all of us trying to get this thing. Um, again, I've looked everywhere. I don't know how else to get this. Uh, the only other time that something like this has happened uh, in, in recent history is for uh, the Kamen Rider XA Bike Action Gamer Level Zero. Um, and uh, it's been cited on, and I'll link this in the description down below as well, it's been cited that uh, this is very hard to get. Um, like the uh, Bike Action Gamer Level Zero, and I, yeah, I, I don't think it will get its own like standard release, because I don't think Bike Action Gamer Level Zero got one. <sighs> Man, I... I really want to be full complete on this, but it looks like it's not going to happen unless I'm going to be paying some ridiculous uh, Yahoo Japan auctions. Um, this is set to release on March 15th, so uh, like keep your eyes peeled. Again, Yahoo Japan auctions, um, I, and to to actually you know use a middleman service. I personally have been using Samurai Buyer. Um, it's been pretty good to me uh, so far and it's got a really nice clean and easy system if you have any questions you can probably just leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them um, man this this really sucks this really sucks it looks good but it really sucks uh, distribution on this is a bit upsetting and I don't think there's gonna be any way to get it unless of course you know uh, you get yourself an extra panda half, and you get yourself an extra TV half, and see what you could do. Uh, man, this sucks. Uh, anyways, um, that's about it for the news. Let's head over to the a very short candy toy corner, because uh, I just want to look at a tiny little thing, a small modification you can do to your Kamen Rider Joker figure, uh, Kamen Rider Shoto Joker figure. Uh, that gives him a little accessory that I, I really like. Anyways, let's hop on over. Hey guys, welcome back to the Candy Toy Corner. Uh, today, again, I'm showing off a small custom this time. Uh, now, uh, it's really all about this uh, flame effect part that I uh, sort of yanked off of um, 
So, are any of you guys familiar with Mini Mates? Uh, these are some like really small, uh, they used to be Lego brick compatible sort of figures. Uh, either way, there was a figure named the Super Scroll that came out, uh, and he had a flame effect part. Um, let's see. He came with a flame effect part that I basically painted uh, purple, and you could easily just sort of plop it onto that hand and give him that uh, flame effect. And right now, I have him in the pose from the was it Mega Max? Yeah, Movie Wars Mega Max movie, uh, where he teamed up with uh, this guy and this guy. Uh, so, uh, gave him that flame effect part. The, the thing that I used to color that is this, um, SRX metallic color sharp, uh, pen, and it seemed to do the trick. Now, it's not clear, it's not a, a clear, clear ink, uh, but to me, it got the job done. It was able to color match kind of okay with uh you know what's going on here so i thought it'd be you know something cool something quick to do um again if you want to do this yourself uh try to find that flame this flame effect part I'll, I'll give you a better look at it try to find this flame effect part uh from mini mates because it's pretty good uh i'm really happy with the sort of standard look of it um, and this, this paint, it doesn't, uh, flake that well, I don't think, uh, time will tell, but, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's a really quick thing you can do and you can give yourself a little accessory for Common Rider Joker. Anyways, that's it for <laughs> Candy Toy Corner this week. Let's hop on over to the outro. Anyways, guys, that just about does it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Shoto Showdown. Uh, tune in next week when we break down all the Shoto, Soto, and Yudo news of that week. Guys, thanks for watching. Keep it juicy.